Hey guys, I'm Dan. Today we have two new figures sent to ours by a Dan Safarian to add to our world collection, okay? So this one right here, what is this? I'm not too sure. Is this like an Impala? I have no idea, but this is a new figure. So I'll be placing this into my bovines collection, okay? All our deers, all our, you know, animals with horns and antlers will go into one box. And what is this? Let's have a look at this. This is a bongo antelope. So all the antelopes will be placed in this box right here along with all the bovines. And what do we have right here? White buffalo this is a very very cool figures i think in this video there are at least 500 different animals 300 to 500 animals i'm not too sure how many but let's get right into the day okay so we also have some wild animals right here what do we have right here art rock beautiful one and what is this a coyote this figure is a pretty good figure very well detailed if i'm not wrong this is actually from safari ltd and we have a white tail bark, which is from Safari LTD 2012 figure. I love this. It has beautiful antlers, which I think they will change every single year. And what do we have right here? This is an armadillo, beautiful armadillo. And okay, guys, this is actually, it looks like a pony, but I think it's a, actually a horse. Yep, but I'll be putting this in my Farms Animal Collection, a doe. We can actually put it in our horses collection. And right here, we have a Guernsey car, which will be placed in the Farm Animals box right there. And what do we have right here? Another Farm Animal, a sheep from Schleich, very well detailed. It's quite a nice figure. I have plenty of figures from Schleich. I think they produce, you know, excellent figure. And here's another one from Schleich. This is a Golden Retriever. Okay, all our domestic pets will also go into this box if I'm not wrong. And what do we have right here? It seems to be a goose. Okay, let's have a look. This is actually from Papo. So Papo, they don't have the names written right below, which is quite a pity. And what do we have right here? Um, Woodland Caribou from Collecte. Beautifully well detailed. And here is another dog figure. And it is, it is a Bulldog from Safari LT 2016, not too long ago. Another bovine right here. This should be a Texas Longhorn Bull. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's an Ancoli Watusi cow with very, very long horns. And it reminds me of the Texas Longhorn Bull. And what do we have right here? A bison. Okay, a bison. But wait a minute, I have placed it in the wrong box. So and here we have a mox cox right here they are well known for their foul odor and this one seems to be a bull i'm not too sure what is the exact name this is from Schleich. quite a nice figure a black sheep this will go into the farm animals box beautiful one and here we have a spanish bull okay they are well known for chasing after people right and what do we have right here this it's a Frisian cow, very popular among dairy farmers because they are gentle and they produce lots of milk. And here's another one, Frisian cow. And we have a Sharpe, beautiful Sharpe. They are very well known for their crumpet skin. And let's take a look at our wild animals box. This is actually an Indian rhinoceros figure from Papo, beautifully well detailed. You can see it has crumpet skin texture and a lot of bumps. Uh, it basically forms like a protective armor against predators. And here we have a camel. Okay, a camel. And this one, if I'm not wrong, is a Bactrian camel. Yeah, that's right. From Safari LTD 2008 figure. It has two arms, which is which are used to store fats and water. Pandar, we should have plenty of pandars right here. You see a huge collection of pandas. Basically, you know, the Den Safarian sent us plenty of pandas. Brown Bear from PNSO, quite an old figure many years ago. Small little donkey, donkey calf. Collie, collies are very, very intelligent dogs. And here we have, wow, this one, I, I, I like this one a lot. This is a Texas Longhorn Bull from Collecte. 
k so just now i've shown you guys like one figure which i feel you know they look kind of similar they have both of them have very very long horns okay next another sheep okay this is another texas longhorn boo guys so um yep diff same animal but from different manufacturers so they look slightly different and here we have a sow a sow which is a female pig and here we have a nanny goat if i'm not wrong it's from schleich okay beautiful one and here is another goat which i think is a billy goat yep a billy goat it's a male goat and we have a cow a calf a very young cow right here and what is this this is a nice one wow ball can we put wild boar in a farm animal box? I don't think so. Let's just put it in a wild animal box. And we have a pangolin. They are very, very adorable, I, I feel. And they can be found in Southeast Asia. The population is declining, so I think they are endangered. Yep, a lot of people actually poach them for medicinal purposes, yeah, which is kind of silly. It's a giant anteater. Elephant. Okay, the elephant can... Oh, this is an Asian elephant, which is why I'm not placing it in the African animal box. So we, we have done the right thing. Beautiful figure. This is actually from Safari LTD 2010, which means this figure is about 14 years old. And what do we have right here? Wow, this looks like a water buffalo. Yeah, wow, water buffalo. Beautiful one. And here we have a tapir or taper. Sloth. Yep. Three toad sloth, probably. And here's a very nice buffalo as well. African buffalo. Okay. Golden retriever. Right here. Golden retriever. We'll go into the farm animal box. Another tapper. Southeast Asian animal. Arctic fox. We have a red panda. Oh, this is stock right here. Red panda. And we have a moose, I think. Yep, a bull moose. A male moose. Beautiful one. This is a Persian cat, if I'm not wrong. This is a Dachon. I'm not too sure whether I pronounce it correctly. And what do we have right here? A deer? A red deer hind. Nice. And this is a Bantam chicken, if I'm not wrong small species of chicken squirrel wild ball a sloth bready potty day what is what is what is that is that like a brand this is a pygmy hippo small little pygmy hippo red panda quite a huge figure sumatran rhino Okay, looks a little bit like an Indian rhinoceros, but still different. This one should be an alpaca, if I'm not wrong. And this should be a llama. Let's see, let's see. This is from, um, or did I get the names opposite? I'm not too sure. I really can't remember the difference. A buffalo. Beautiful one. Donkey from Schleck. Quite an old figure. This it's a nanny goat. Jacob ship. You can see it has two pairs of horns, which is very very cool. Twenty fifteen collective figure. We have a small little chicken right here. A nanny goat. Pot belly pig figure from Schleich. Very very adorable. What is this? Is it a reindeer? Let's have a look. A stag. Beautiful one, with the mouth wide open. And what is this? Let's have a look. Giant Island, Giant Island Antelope. A beautiful one. And this is a Great Dane. It's not a farm animal, but we are putting it in the farm animal box together with the other dogs. We have a Puffin, which shouldn't be here. This should be with the sea animals. Plenty of Polar, not Polar Bears, Pandars. Pandar Carps. Very, very cute. And what is this? Let's have a look at this. 
This is actually a Brahmin bull. Yeah, very very cool. I think they are they are um from India if I'm not wrong. Another Frisian cow. This one is a Hoshian cow. Hoshian, host Holstein cow. So it could be a you know a Hoshian cow, the previous one. This is our border collie. Yeah, very intelligent. They are actually rank the smartest species or rather breed of dogs out there. And what do we have right here? Mountain Niala. Okay, nice. German Shepherd. It looks like a puppy. Yeah, it looks like a puppy. A cow. Red Panda. This is a wolf, a timber wolf. And what do we have right here? Blue Wildebeest. Here's a Hereford cow. Very nice. Another sow. This is a boxer, if I'm not wrong. Beautiful one. Black sheep. We have two similar figures, identical figures. This is a Labrador. Beautiful one. They look very similar to golden I feel. Hungarian pig, well known for their curly hair. And what is this, guys? Is this um Impala or Ellen? I'm not too sure. This is our goose. A beautiful goose. Let's try to find the name. Let's see whether there's a name. Gander. Very nice. This is our French Bulldog. The they nickname Frenchies. Another female pig right here. Is this a moon bear? Let's see. Probably a sun bear. These two are very very similar. Very very similar. Let's have a look. So this is a moon bear. This one could be a sun bear. Another tapper. Pandas. Two red pandas right here. This is a black back jackal. Okay, a nice one. We only have one. Capybara. Probably the chillest animal out there. They can hang out with any animals, even with crocodiles. Super chew. And this is a hedgehog. Super adorable. A fox. Komodi bear right here. From Safari LTE 2017 figure. Pick me hippo calf. Very, very cute. A sheep. It's from Collecte. I think this was sent to us by the Dan Safarian. Cockerel. Nice. Siamese cat. Dalmatian puppy from Schleich. Schnauzer. A cat, a grey cat. A hare. Yep, yeah, it's not a rabbit, it's a wild hare. Very nice. Americana chicken, which is well known. Is this Americana chicken? Just let's just call it a chicken. A duck. I have no idea what species this is. You know, I wish they could have like written a species name. That would be nice. And what do we have right here? This is a. a I'm not too sure what what you call this. A terrier. Phoenix rooster. And what is this? Wow, this one is nice. Black wildebeest. This one seems to be a Jacob sheep. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, seems like it. A chinchilla. A wolf. A pygmy hippo. We do have a couple of pygmy hippos in our collection. Very small collection, but growing. Pangolin. This one seems to be a Tasmanian devil, which should be in the Australian animal box. A fox, 
Panda Cop. And what is this, guys? You know, the figures from Papo. Not a huge fan of it because they don't have the name. So sometimes I can't remember them. This is a like fawn, I think. Red Deer Cough. Nice. Very nice. A Tabby Cat. She has another one. Orange Tabby, and this is a grey Tabby. They're both the same figures. Jack Russell Terrier. Hyper active dogs some cheeks we have a piglet this is very very cute and adorable from safari ltd is very tiny the words 2007 a rabbit this is a cute one very cute we have a shiba inu if i'm not wrong jack russell terrier they are very smart very intelligent, very smart, very very active. And here we have another tapper. This is a nice one from Mojo. This is a Barbie Rusa. Do you guys know one very interesting fact about the Barbie Rusa is that their horns will actually grow inwards towards their brain. And they have to sort of like file the horns, otherwise. It may just, you know, enter the skull and just kill them. It's it's kind of sad. Yeah. So definitely I think if humans can intervene and just help to sort of like foul off their horns, that would be good. And uh, this is a spring spring box. Our one and only spring box. This one I'm not too sure. It looks like a moose to me. I think so. This is a a poodle, okay, a poodle. This is a saber antelope, a very nice one. And what do we have right here? This is a duck. I think so. It's a. I'm gonna call it a duck. Siamese cat. This is the main wolf. If I'm, let, let me check. I think this is known as a main wolf. Which is the taller species of canines? A water buffalo, I think. This can actually be placed in the um, farm animals, I suppose. Chinese farm. Lemur. Is it a lemur? Yeah, the woods are too tiny, I can't really see it. This is a um, collie puppy. Very adorable. A brown bear. Possibly a grizzly bear, a wolf. We have an otter right here. Otters are very common in Singapore and they actually, you know, pose a threat. You know, they're kind of like past in Singapore because they do enter residences and eat up fish. In like aquariums and ponds which is very very annoying for the owners this is a black bear cup very cute little one this is our hampshire pig we have this seems to be a french bulldog a Boston terrier i beg your pardon siberian husky very adorable dogs they are very dramatic i know they like to talk a lot. <laughs> yep, they like to howl a lot. They are very adorable. I love them. A goat. Penguins shouldn't be in this box. Not too sure why they are here. And this is a Himalayan, Himalayan tar. Shiba Inu puppy. Possibly the cutest figure in today's video. Here's another tabby cat. I suppose. Golden Retriever. Fennec Fox right here. We have a hand and some chicks. This is a wildebeest. Another pig. German Shepherd Puppy. Very, very adorable. We have a chicken. This one, I can't remember. I think it's a raccoon. It looks like a raccoon to me. And this is a skunk. A very nice skunk. Our one and only skunk. American chicken, which is 
known for laying blue eggs. Eggs that are blue in color, which is kind of cool. A little bumblebee, a little piglet, and what, what do we have right here? This is probably a billy goat. Her hair, we have one of it, I think, you know, the brown one, and this was a white hair. I'm just gonna call this a duck. Very nice. White duck from Collecting. I think the dancer friend sent it to us as well. And a little rabbit from Schleich. So I've shown you guys roughly about, I think about at least 300 animals, at least guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.